just as God intended a seed to be planted, nurtured, matured, grow strong, and in turn plant new seeds, St. John's Lutheran Church and School's purpose is to glorify God by growing in our Lord Jesus Christ and going into the world to share this great news. Our congregation will reach its 160th birthday in 2011. Originally, the congregation was a gathering of German-speaking people who were interested in the guidance of God's Word. As it developed, we became more doctrinally sound, so that today we belong to one of the most doctrinally sound synods that is represented by Lutheranism in the world. When we have a problem, we don't say, what do you think, or what does that person think? We say, what does God's Word say? If we hold to that, then we can be assured of God's blessings, and we can also be assured that we're right. St. John's exists for the very simple purpose of bringing people into heaven. It's God's agency, his church, his congregation, to help people along to their path to their final place in heaven with Jesus Christ. So we exist to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to others, to ourselves, to our children, future generations, to the community around us, and to the world. Just as a tree's branches and leaves soak up the sun and its roots absorb nutrients from the soil, St. John's members have received many blessings from our Lord. We desire to work and volunteer as stewards to feed the many ministries that help the church remain strong. As far as the ministry that we do, we work in outreach um, through our school primarily, um, K-8 to Christian education for anybody in the community. Um, our Little Lambs program has been very successful in bringing people in from the outside to our school. Our daycare, our child care, I think program has begun over the last year and that's brought some people in. The Vacation Bible School that we have in the summertime, programs for our school children and children in the congregation um, like Falcon Friends and Falcon Explorers. We have a program for our parents, uh, PTO, so that they can become involved in their school, uh, in the school and their children's education as well. So. I looked into St. John's and um, based on just the fact that I was Lutheran and I wanted her to be in that school so I went. But as she went and as my next daughter went and as now I have three boys in this school, it has helped me to grow as a Christian because I wasn't where I needed to be with my life and with what I wanted. So it didn't just help my children learn the Word of God, it helped me to be closer to my Savior and understand what He wants of me. St. John's has served my family in a variety of ways. Music, Bible studies, Sunday school. Without St. John's as part of my family's life, we wouldn't have this indescribable feeling of, of support or encouragement that we, get, that we know comes from the Lord. I'm able to raise four children um, under the instruction of God's Word and with the teachers here. They've served my needs by helping me raise my kids. My hope for my children is that they can come out of here with an unfaltering faith, that through whatever life challenges they face, they have that faith. There's so many different ministries that St. John's is involved in, um, from youth all the way through seniors. Teens, we've just resurrected our youth ministry program, and we've gotten into activities for them. We have a lot of music opportunities through choir, brass choir, grace notes, ladies' aid, which is a service opportunity as well. Um, as we get into senior ministry, we have people who make shut-in visits, helping pastors with that. We work with the community on a blood drive. We also pr participate in community events like Gamit Lakait, Christmas Parade also. Volunteers who come in and help with the bulletins and service folders. Volunteers who come and count the, the offerings from every week. Um, we have volunteers or people who um, help around the buildings to maintain them. So many programs, it's hard to even remember and list them all. Just as a fruit tree needs to be maintained so it produces a healthy crop for years to come, St. John's maintains the buildings and ministries so they in turn can serve us not only now, but generations into the future. The biggest physical needs of the school is to upgrade the fire alarm system and the heating and cooling system. The handicap accessibility of the school is, is lacking. In the electrical system, uh, the power that was brought in initially isn't adequate for the demands that are there now. The opportunity that renovation provides a safer place, a more attractive place for our students and incoming students for future generations. 
I think when you walk into our building here, um, you see the cornerstone out front, I think it says 1895. It's amazing, it's an amazing building. It's amazing to think how many generations have gone through here. Uh, on top of that is the day-to-day, month-to-month, year-to-year operational costs that we need to do. Tuck pointing, painting, buildings of all sort need that constant care. And too often, if you just sit in the pews for 53 minutes on Sunday, uh, you take it for granted. Uh, we need to make sure that this, this building is serving God's word up for generations to come. Well, as we develop more ministries in our congregation, we really need to renovate um, to make more room for those ministries so that they can carry out their functions. Um, and then we can reach out further into the community, into um, those people who need to hear more about Jesus. A church building and a school building are very important for a Christian congregation because it's the expression of what God has put on the inside of us. God has put the best inside of us when he gave us Jesus Christ. Can we do anything but the best in presenting to the world the glory of God by the way in which our buildings look, by the way in which we bring in worshipers to hear about Jesus, by the way in which we instill the Lord Jesus into our little children's heart? Those to whom God has given the best also want to produce the best for God. Just as a tree has the ability to serve many purposes, from providing oxygen to the world to serving in a musical concert, from a very practical purpose to one of fun and fancy, we too have the ability at St. John's to serve in many ways. Praying for our church and school, working and volunteering for the different ministries, and providing for St. John's financially. Some ways that we have served at St. John's, uh, I've been room mom with all four of my children. Michael's coached basketball. I've done Falcon Friends. Any field trips, any church suppers, anything they need me to do, I'm, I'm always there to help. The ultimate motive for us to be here is because this is our family and these are the people that we want to be with and that we love. We do what the Lord asks of us as we're on earth, he asks us to share ourselves and put others first. Although works aren't what gets us to heaven, we show God's love through what we do. It's important for every Christian to serve because Christ himself said, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. And everybody who follows Christ wants to do the same. We want to serve, it's an expression of love. It's the supreme example of unselfishness that we do not live for ourselves, but live for him who died for us and rose again. The whole purpose of our Forward Lord program is to bring God forward, as well as praying to God to move us forward in Christ. We want to receive the gifts of our people so that we can serve our own people better, serve the community better, and bring the Lord Jesus to future generations. Just as we have been provided many blessings in our lives, we in turn give back to our Lord, not because we have to, but because we desire to do so. We follow the path together and look forward, Lord.